Now I would like to give you a general overview of the day-to-day -day work in preservation, which includes both field work and lab work. Each year we grow parts of our collection for three primary reasons. To increase the number of seed stocks of a variety in our collection, to improve the germination of a variety, and to evaluate a variety. When seed stock of a variety is particularly low, we grow it out to build seed quantity. Seed Savers has a new system to keep larger quantities of each variety on hand. This reduces how often a variety must be grown out minimizing both the risk of genetic change inherent with each grow out as well as the operational cost of maintaining the collection. In this photo, preservation garden crew members are planting biennials in early spring. These were dug up the previous growing season and overwintered in our root cellar. Seed viability decreases in storage. The rate of decrease varies with each variety depending on the initial quality of the seed going into storage. Although our collection is stored in ideal conditions for seed longevity, each variety must be periodically regenerated to maintain a healthy, viable seed stock. This photo shows varieties being regenerated in the field in isolation tents. Isolation tents allow us to grow many varieties in one season at Heritage Farm while preventing cross-pollination and maintaining varietal purity. Preservation varieties are also grown for evaluation. Some varieties are grown specifically for the purpose of observing varietal traits. Because the seed isn't saved, evaluation varieties of the same species may be grown side by side without concern for cross-pollination. In 2010, selected varieties of lettuce, Chinese cabbage, squash, and peppers were grown in this way. This photo shows preservation horticulture staff collecting evaluative data in the field. Varietal evaluation is an important aspect of maintaining genetic diversity because it allows us to track changes, lets us determine uniqueness and remove duplicates from the collection, and helps us identify commercial potential. Images like this photo are part of the evaluation process and are important for documentation purposes. Although we produce much less seed than for commercial production, we need enough seed stock for long-term storage on-site backup storage off-site, distribution, and germ testing. Lab work includes germination testing. We have a germination testing program to determine when varieties need to be regenerated in the field and to accurately maintain our inventory. We periodically conduct germination tests to see if germination rates are declining. That is our cue to plant them in the field to regenerate seed. Potato and sweet potato collections are maintained in, a, in our lab in tissue culture. Unlike many vegetable varieties, potatoes are not regenerated by seed. Instead, they are propagated vegetatively by planting the eyes of the potato. This makes growing and preserving potato varieties challenging. We store potatoes in tissue culture by growing tiny plants in nutrient-filled test tubes. These plantlets can live up to 18 months in optimal conditions before a new tissue culture is necessary. This process ensures that we do not unnecessarily expose potatoes year after year to environmental pressures such as pests, unpredictable weather, and diseases. Tissue culture allows us to safely preserve heirloom potatoes for future generations. Perhaps the most recognizable component of Seed Savers Exchange's mission is our seed catalog, which features approximately 600 heirloom, open pollinated, and historical varieties for sale to the general public. In addition to sales, which supports our preservation work, the catalog provides an entry point from which the public can learn about our organization. Here are just a few examples of the many heirloom varieties available in our catalog. Extra commercial seed from the previous year allow us to run our Herman's Garden program and provide thousands of seed packets to hundreds of worthy causes every year. This seed donation program has built a network of gardens around the world that fight hunger, build community, and teach children and adults the virtues of homegrown food. We ask those who tend one of Herman's gardens to offer garden advice, plant seeds, share the harvest, and save seeds to pass on. 
If you're interested in Herman's Garden, please visit our website to find out more about this program. While the catalog generates income and exposure, we are at heart a member-supported organization, and it's through our relationship with members that we accomplish our mission. Our membership is a network of seed savers who collectively accomplish the goal of preservation of heirlooms. All of this work is headquartered at Heritage Farm in Decorah, Iowa. Here we have 890 acres of pasture, woodlands, and gardens for preservation, commercial production, and display. On the farm, approximately 25 acres are certified organic seed production fields. Heritage Farm is located in the Driftless region and is comprised of hill terrain with large limestone bluffs. This terrain benefits preservation. The valleys and the ridges act as natural barriers of woodlands and provide a geographic isolation of varieties. In other words, pollinators are slowed down to prevent cross-pollination and contamination of varieties. In addition to maintaining and sharing seeds, Seed Savers Exchange raises ancient white park cattle, a threatened breed which helps us maintain our pastures. In addition, each summer we host a demonstration project of rare heritage poultry. Both the cattle and poultry help Seed Savers tell the important story about genetic diversity. If you came to Heritage Farm and went for a hike up the southernmost limestone bluff through a forest of century-old pine trees, you would find yourself in Heritage Farm's historic orchard. In 1900, there were about 8,000 named varieties of apples in the United States, but the vast majority are already extinct and the rest are steadily dying out. Today, Seed Savers Exchange preserves 550 varieties of 19th century apple trees, one of the most diverse public orchards in the United States. The historic orchard also displays a cold hardy vineyard, including more than 200 breeds from the collection of famed grape breeder Elmer Swenson. Developed over many years of attentive work on his grandfather's Wisconsin farm, Swenson crossed cold hardy wild grapes with more palatable varieties to create some of the most successful northern grapes available today. You can visit Heritage Farm and attend events like our annual conference and campout, tomato tasting and harvest festival, or come for a workshop. Apple grafting, seed saving, and seed starting are just a few. The Lillian Goldman Visitor Center is an Amish-built post and beam structure and is open daily from March through December. Heritage Farm contains more than eight miles of hiking trails, and Canoe Creek, a popular trout stream, runs through the valleys. For more than 35 years, Seed Savers Exchange has been a leader in the heirloom seed movement, a grassroots movement. It is estimated that our members have shared more than one million seeds over the life of the organization. John and I would like to encourage each and every one of you to plant a garden, save seeds from your favorite plant, and begin sharing seed, seeds with others. Also, please consider supporting our work to protect our gardening heritage for future generations by becoming a member.